hey guys how are you doing welcome good morning good afternoon good evening whatever the time is wherever you are thank you so much for clicking on my video i really appreciate it i'm very sure youtube must have shown you a lot of other videos but you clicked on this one because you are interested in knowing the information that i have written on the caption and that's what we're going to talk about straight away because i don't want us to take too much time today gisting as always my name is ajala and my name is never going to change my name is barista ajala and if you have any problems navigating nigerian law there's anything about law in nigeria that you don't understand sometimes even cultural practices feel free to click in the comment section and you can have a paid session with me anything you don't understand especially about the new laws and circular from cbn surrounding cryptocurrencies and then the types of accounts that the government said should be banned i understand that there there people don't really understand what is happening you think it has to do with bvn you don't know whether it is bvn you don't know what is kic these are the questions that i'm going to clarify today okay if this is your first time of stopping by on my channel please remember to click on the subscribe button there that would be all that you would need to join a member of this family and like the video that would also help for the algorithm as always i'm interested in your comments so tell me in the comment section so let's talk about the cryptocurrency first before we go to the matter of of bank accounts if you remember around 2021 when the crypto boom began to start a lot of nigerians began to see cryptocurrency as an alternative way of making money right it got to a point where even now where there is a crypto ban in nigeria the third highest amount of crypto trading in the world comes from nigeria but under the presidency of general muhammad buhari our immediate past president the government banned cryptocurrency and prevented banks from engaging in any form of crypto transactions so that ban stayed in place until now when the federal government just released a circular through cbn cbn is our apex bank apex bank central bank of nigeria so released a circular that nigerians can now engage in cryptocurrencies but let me explain to you what exactly happened okay and then the new law that was released so that you will not go and enter into any trouble again before you rush to go and start downloading your cryptocurrency apps okay now there's something they call virtual assets um management providers so these are companies that help people to handle their virtual assets what the ban meant that time was that those companies who are virtual asset managers were not allowed to have bank accounts in nigeria so that meant that if nigerians were going to do any form of cryptocurrency trading it meant that they only had to use p2p method peer-to-peer -peer method and it made it kind of a bit clumsy but you know nigerians there is no storm we cannot weather to our credits nigerians were able to adapt but this new cbn circular states that now banks can do business together with virtual assets management providers okay virtual assets service providers sorry that means that all those your companies that could not have assets people the companies that the fintechs that were managing cryptocurrencies that could not have bank accounts with nigerian commercial banks like union bank uba and co they can now do it but there is a new regulation that has been put in place by both the central bank of nigeria ndic and securities and exchange commission so there is a guideline that those companies are going to have to follow the reason for this is to protect the nigerian investor if you remember back then there was no regulation nobody was holding anybody liable so anybody can come and tell you i'm a crypto trader i'm a crypto manager or whatever you give them your funds and they run away so i really see the perspective of the government back then when they just placed an outright ban on anything that had to do with cryptocurrency because one the nigerian investor needed to be protected and the government body that is empowered to protect investors is the securities and exchange commission the securities and exchange commission has to regulate any gov any any business entity any artificial person anybody at all who wants to do business using other people's money where it entails you giving somebody else your money to trade with or to do business any sort of business at all including cryptocurrency with the securities and exchange commission has to regulate you the regulations are very very stringent one of them is the monetary one so one one of the regulations is that they have to register themselves under the corporate affairs commission go and register yourself with the nigerian deposit insurance corporation because it has to do with money so those funds have to be insured 
I want you to see how advantageous it is now compared to before. Before, those funds were not insured. But now that the NDIC has come into it, it means that the funds are insured. Okay? Then you now go to the Securities and Exchange Commission and you register yourself with them. The SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, controls down to the, the constitution of, of the governing body. Who and who can become can be a director in any virtual asset management company so that it prevents people who are trying to launder money from bringing dirty money into the country and a lot of people have stolen money they don't know where to do to take it to that was the other reason so the government had to place that outright ban take its time to do the research sometimes we are governed by people who are very old so they don't really understand these things but they did their consultation and they've seen that cryptocurrency is good for nigeria but it needs to be regulated like every other industry it needs to be regulated especially when money belonging to nigerians is involved okay so the securities and exchange commission controls who can even sit on the board of all these companies it's not just anybody with any questionable character you must show that you don't have any criminal record you have never been indicted of any crime that is of a financial nature you don't have a criminal record on you and you have a resident address in nigeria so people can't run away with your funds this is the advantage of it right now so if you are listening to me and you don't know whether you should start trading in crypto yes feel free to go and download your apps one other regulation is that the minimum share capital for this company is actually 500 million so we are going to see a lot of consolidation of capital as time goes on. A lot of them are going to have to merge just the way banks merged the other time before they were able to stand Gidibam. So I think that we are in for good times in Nigeria. That small 2,000 naira you want to go and buy shawarma with, use it to buy crypto. Start saving your money in cryptocurrency. That is one good thing about 2024 that I'm looking forward to. If you need any more clarification, again, for a paid session with me, not just about cryptocurrency, really, or Securities and Exchange Commission, any components of Nigerian law that you don't understand, you want to make any move, feel free to comment to, to contact me in my inbox. Then, secondly, let me put you on notice very, very sharply. There are some accounts that are going to be closed down in Nigeria. An operation is going to start from 1st of April 2024. These are one tire accounts. Any accounts that you opened, you know all these USSD codes. You just dial star something something, and then you open the phone, the account number on your phone in your room with any bank of your choice. They are mostly one tire accounts, and the CBN has released another circular that those accounts from now till March, you from now till 31st of March, you have that time frame to go and turn your account into a two tire account. They did not ask you for your BVN. So you need to go and link with your BVN. You have to go and link it with your national identity number. So you are also going to provide them with um, all these are means of identification. You can provide your international passport, your driver's license, or national ID card. I think when it comes to national ID card, that slip, that name slip can also pay, can, can surface, or driver's license. So if you have them, and you are using all those accounts that you just opened by the by on your phone all pay accounts all these fintech accounts you know that just want to collect your money again it is for your own good it is so that it is not easy for your money to be accessed or stolen so if you are listening to me and you have a one tire account they are going to place a post no debit meaning any money that is inside it until you go and turn it into a two tire account you won't be able to withdraw it this information is for your info. This uh, video is for your information and necessary action. The way civil servants say. I hope I've been able to make some points for you today. I hope you've learned something. Tell me in the comment section if I if there's anything that you want to know again, and tell me Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to me because you guys didn't tell me Happy New Year. I said so to you guys. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you who have listened to me today. Remember, Ashala loves you. And we're going to do this again next year, okay? Thank you very much. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.